Hello. So when you work in the crafting world or the beading world or any sort of creative field uh, that has trends that go along with seasons or holidays, uh, you're always going to be thinking ahead. And right now, we are thinking a lot about Valentine's Day. Um, obviously, it's still more than a month out. Valentine's Day doesn't require the same type of preparation as Christmas um, or even Halloween, but it's still a fun holiday to start celebrating early. And if you're making jewelry, especially if it's to sell, it's a great time now to start thinking about uh, what you're going to make in the coming weeks for that Valentine window or what you're going to make for presents for your mom or sister or best friend. So today we're going to talk some Valentine's Day. Um, before we get started, I did want to point out, and I forgot to grab it, we still have a few of the Cupid's Kiss uh, Valentine design kit available. You can find this at www.softlexcompany.com. We're 70% uh, sold out this morning when we emailed, so it may be a little higher now. Um, we're trying to make more of them so they last longer, so more people have an opportunity to bead with us. Um, so we may have, you know, have them for a few more days to a week um, before they'll sell out. So definitely if you've wanted one and you want to join one of our design challenges, the challenge day for the video is January 30th. And it's a really sweet, cute little kit, and it'll definitely kick off uh, Valentine's Day here at the end of the month as well. Um, so go grab one of those. Hi, everybody. I see you're all jumping on. Um, so I'm just going to flash down. We're going to do definitely one earring project, maybe two. I look a little wet because it's raining outside, and I ran outside to hand um, my boss an umbrella right before the show. <laughs> Um, I should have opened the umbrella to walk it out to him, but of course, I just got wet instead. Um, so <laughs> don't mind me and my wet hair. I'm going to flip you guys down now so that we can take a look at what I've got going on down here. So like I was saying at the beginning, this is a really great time of year um, to start thinking about Valentine's Day. So plan some projects, buy some pink colored beads, pink colored wire. Um, there's a variety of things you can do to sort of prepare for being in the Valentine's uh, mode. Oh, thanks, Carol. She says she loves my necklace, which is by Lorelei Yurto. Um, she has her own website and she makes fabulous jewelry, one of a kind pieces. And the scarf I got from um, my sister-in-law, who just knows me very well. So thank you very much. Uh, we've got a great promotion going on on the website. So say you did buy Cupid's Kiss for $32.95, you're going to get a $5 credit for your next purchase. So basically it's $5 off. If you went up to $50, you'd get a $10 credit. And if you go up to $100, you get a $20 credit, which is almost the cost of the kit. So if you need to order some Softlex products, this is a great time to do it. And then you'll get that credit added to your, um, right to your account at the end of the promotion next week. <clears throat> so this is the earring. I kind of did it Neelay Patel style here. I sketched up an earring that I'm dreaming about making using these beautiful pink CZs, which can also be found on our website these lovely little heart charms that have little uh, crystals in them. They come in a lot of different colors. I picked the faceted AB Austrian crystals and I was actually noticing when they were sitting next to these pink beads, I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, but the AB actually sort of grabs that pink color, which is sort of fun. I was really, um, it's funny how that happens. It was really impressed by that. I also grabbed some of our uh, trios that I know are a good mix for Valentine's Day. We have our Mystical Trio, which is a beautiful mixture of spinel, pink tourmaline, and then amethyst. All really gorgeous, fun Valentine colors to work with. We've, of course, got our Be My Valentine Trio, which is really popular this time of year. It is the rhodochrosite, the pink tourmaline, and then the spinel, which is also really pretty 
lovely combination. And then we've got Romance, which is our white quartz, pink rhodochrosite, and what's the last one, Garnet. And then one more I grabbed, even though this isn't totally Valentine's Day, this red coral is beautiful for Valentine's Day. And then these are sort of just no brainers, the black onyx and then the um, antique brass are colors that you can use almost any time of year and are just handy to have around. So some really great colors um, that you can find in Softlux products to get you in the Valentine mode. Um, so I am going to show you guys, I'm going to start out with this earring and then we posted an earring that I made years ago on the blog today and I was going to remake that one today as well. I'm trying to decide what color I want to use with these CZs. I think I'm going to use two strands. I might do the same color. I'm thinking the spinel is pretty fantastic with this. Um, pink color. I know the light isn't great today because of the rain, but we'll just do the best we can here. So pretty spinel color. I'm going to get a nice decent length off my spool. So if you guys do find a color that you love, you can always buy it in a larger spool, a 30 foot. This is a 100 foot spool. Um, so if you're really into the turquoise or the fluorite, you can always buy that specific color in the bigger school if you find that you use it really quickly from your trio. So I'm thinking about using the 3x3 three three crimp tubes today, which are these big, huge guys. And they have a lot of space, three millimeters of space to fit some wire through. So if I do multiple strands, I'll be able to fit it through pretty quick and easy. I'm going to pull out my cutters and my pliers. If you guys like and share this video, I will choose a winner for their choice of trio next Tuesday. So next Tuesday is January. You have until January 15th to like and share this video. And I will choose the winner from last week after today's uh, video. So I'll be posting that shortly too. Okay, so I've got my cutters. Oh, and I got my micro crimpers. Those aren't going to work. The micro crimpers are for one by ones and they're itty bitty small. The mighty crimpers. Now there is a mighty crimper. Nice big round hole. Okay, so I'm going to cut... A pretty decent length. Um, you could probably do six inches and that would be plenty because I've never made this earring before and I'm on live video. I'm going to give myself extra slack just to be sure. So I need to open these guys up too. So I've got two wires. I've got my crimp tubes. I've got these beautiful CZs. We have CZs in like every color imaginable, but this really beautiful pink which they call just pink when you go on the website, um, is really fun and, be, and really lovely for this time of year. I noticed today, and I guess I knew this before, but I wanted to mention it. If you go to our beads category, you can shop by color. And there is a pink, there is a purple, um, there's a red. So depending on which color you think you might want to use for Valentine's Day, that might be a really good way. Um, ooh, hopefully these are going to fit on this big thick wire. I didn't even think about that. Let's try it. Oh, they aren't, are they? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Let me try a couple more. You never know. Sometimes one will be stubborn. And another will be fine. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to have to go with a thinner wire with these little CZ beads. So we're going to move to the extreme wire because that's how we do it here on live Facebook. So let me grab my Owen 4 Extreme out of here. We're going to go with gold or should we do silver? Too. Ooh, silver. I think silver would be nice. All right, let's go 
grab some silver and we'll save this for a future project. Learn as you go, that's what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna again do about six inches of each. I might even be able to do a little crimp with this one, which would be kind of cool. So now we're gonna kind of play around with it. Have a bead stopper and see what's gonna work with this shape with the brulette. So I've got my handy dandy bead stopper which I'm going to use just to hold on to both wires side by side so that I can string some beads on it and see how they're going to fall. <clears throat> okay, now we know this will fit. And I wanted to open this guy up too. So these are the little charms. These are actually 30% off on the website because they're on closeout. And like I said, they come in lots of different colors. But if you get the AB color, it picks up whatever color you're kind of working with, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my two wires and I'm just gonna string a few CZs on each wire. These are little briolettes, they're pretty tiny. Normally, I would try to get them on a thicker wire if I could, because the thicker wire is just going to be a lot stronger. Um, but that doesn't always work that way. Like you saw, sometimes when they drill beads, they drill them from just one side, and that's the case with these little CZs. They drilled it, and so it's got a wide end, and then it has where the tip of the drill was sharp and pointed. It has a smaller end on the other side. I'm going to do three on each and then we'll kind of see how they line up and look together. Valentine's Day is one of my top holidays. I mean, I love every holiday, but one of my top holidays because it's right about the time that I met my husband. Oh, here's another thing. Because of the way they're facing, in order to have it face the right direction from the earring, I'm going to need a jump ring. So let me grab one of those out of here. So these are jump rings, if you're not familiar, or brand new to beading. And they're just little metal rings. They come sometimes closed, and then you need to attach something to it, or they come open where you can actually open it and attach an item, uh, which is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna pick a pretty small one because it's a little tiny charm, so I don't need anything too, too big. And then I'll just take my chain nose plier here. Hi, Patty. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to open it up just like that. You can use two chain nose pliers if you don't like using your thumbnail, um, but I usually just end up using my nail to open it up. And then you slide on whatever you're attaching to, in this case our little charm and close it back up to the best of your ability so that the two ends come right back together and meet each other. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Deborah. Nice to see all of you. Make sure you share and like the video so you get entered to win a trio of your choice. You can pick the Be My Valentine. You can pick our new Winter Wonderland trio and get some of those cool new uh, Winter Wonderland beads that we have. So this is kind of how it's laying, which is what I sort of expected. Let me take this off so we can kind of look and see how it's going. If we want to add more CZs, we definitely could. This is kind of the shape I was going for. Um, so we could do a few more if we wanted on each side. I kind of think that would be nice. Let's add a couple more to each wire on this side and see how it's coming along after that. 
Thanks, Sherry. Valentine's Day is definitely meant to be cute. It's a great holiday for cute. I know my little ladies at home are already pretty excited. Every time a holiday ends, they're excited about the next holiday, just like their mama, in the same way. Okay, Christmas is packed up. Let's start talking Valentine's Day. <laughs> Doesn't take me long at all. All right, I think that will be just a little bit nicer to have the five on each side. I don't mind exposing some of the wire at the top. I think that'll be kind of fun, but I did want just like a little bit more bling. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my bead stopper back over here so that I can string some CZs on this other end too. And Kristen or Thomas, whoever's here for Softflex, if you could post links, if you haven't already, um, to the red beads, the pink beads, these CZ beads, that would be really helpful so folks can find the beads on our website that correspond with Valentine's Day. Also these cute little heart charms, those could definitely be, be linked. Okay, we're missing Rosa this week. She is on vacation and everybody misses her so much. James is doing all of your live sale orders, so please be really patient with him as he works through that process on his own this week. Um, he's definitely doing the very best he can, um, so be patient, but he's getting through it. I think he's doing PayPal today is my understanding, and then I'm actually going to help him uh, wrap up your orders this week. Awesome. Thank you. And that's three, two more CZs, and then we'll start bundling it together. So let's try it with the two by two crimp, and then we can do the mighty crimp on the next pair of earrings that I wanted to do today. So I'm going to get a silver two by two crimp. Since this is 014, I'm not as familiar with how many strands will go through it. So I'm gonna test out doing these five strands and see what happens here. So we've got four. I'm just gonna trim this guy off so he's about the same length here. I've got four, I'm gonna let the bead stopper go and slide my two by two millimeter crimp tube onto all four strands, awesome. And then I can kind of play around with the size and proportions. Um, do I want it to be bigger? You could go all the way down and have it just be beads. I like leaving a little bit of the wire showing. I think that's kind of fun. It looks like a cloud of pink beads. And then I'll probably just do two wires back in. You could even just do one wire if you wanted to. We'll see how the two wires look. I'm gonna pull down side by side till they get to the right size at the top so that they're kind of lining up. <clears throat> That's where my ear wire is gonna attach. And then I'm gonna check my bottom again. Does it still look even? And it doesn't. So I'm gonna to wanna to pull a little bit on one of these strands to even it all out. I want those strands to kind of lay nicely together. So this is where you fidget with it and get it to lay just the way you want. And when you feel good about it, that's when you can go ahead and crimp. You don't want to crimp until you're feeling pretty good about it because you can't go back. Once you've crimped, it's kind of done. 
So you want to make sure you're really happy with what's happening before. And I think it's this one I want to kind of yank on just a little bit. Get into a good shape. Here we go. I feel pretty good about that. They're going to overlap a little bit, which is fine. Um, that's kind of the goal. You want to see the wire. You just don't want it to feel really funny. Okay, so we've got our magical crimpers here, which have a little divot on each side that's identical. It fits this two by two crimp just perfectly. We're gonna center this tube. You do need a good quality crimp tube, which you can get from Softlex Company. Ours are seamless and strong, and that is important because you do use quite a bit of force when you compress. If you've done it right the first time, you're gonna get what looks like a little four corner ravioli. I'm gonna spin it on its side in that same notch in the plier and compress again. And we're gonna go around it a few times, tightening it all down. It takes that tube that we started off with and makes it into a little round bead, but it also gives you a really nice strong hold. You're gonna slide your cutter in as close as you can to the crimp on the flat side to the crimp and trim the excess wire. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. If this top is bothering you because it has like kind of doubled over and it just doesn't feel right, you can always snip one of them off. and then that'll be where you attach. So now I'm gonna fidget with it just a little bit more to make sure my heart shows. I'm gonna pull out an ear wire that we can attach at the top. Let's see. Here's my bag of ear wires. So this is what an ear wire looks like. There's a bunch of different kinds. You can get one with like a spring and a ball or you can get a plain one. Um, these are the ones I use the most frequently. I like this little ball ornament at the end. They're very easy to use um, and I've always really liked them. I often use the tip of my magical crimpers like it's a little mini chain nose plier. You could have used this to open the jump ring as well. And just slide it open like so and then you can slide your earring the nice thing about these charms is that they are double-sided, so there is no front or back, so that doesn't matter too much. And once you have your earring on, I just need to slide my beads around a little bit so that they lay just a little bit better. And then you've got your little cute little heart charm and your cloud of pink CZs. So I'll make another one of these and then I'll take a nice picture of them so you can see them and post it in on our Instagram and in our VIB group. Um, so you guys can take a look at it there. I have one other earring that I really wanna show you today that posted on the blog earlier um, that I made years and years ago, but I think you guys will really love seeing it made in person. Um, because I made it so long ago, I tried to read over the <laughs> instructions today to make sure I remembered um, how to make it. I'm going to change it just a little bit from the instructions. Let's see. I use, I'm going to use these colors, which I believe are Be My Valentine. Yes, but now rhodochrosite and pink tourmaline. So if you want to make the same earring, this would be the trio that you would purchase. So we've got the CZ earring. Let's move that out of the way. And we are gonna do Mighty Crimpers. Okay, so I need, I believe, two wires in each color. Again, I'm gonna be really generous on wire size, mostly because I'm on a live video. If I were doing it just for, you know, making it as gift, I may use a little bit less wire just so that I'm not wasting so much. But here on a live video, and I'm gonna try white down the center, because I used a color last time and I was thinking it might be fun to have a, 
a less color in the center so it looks more and more like a heart. So I'm going to do two of this pink rhodochrosite, about the same size. Pink rhodochrosite is such a fun color um, this time of year. So it's such a really bright pink, but when you match it with other darker colors, it can look so elegant and beautiful. I think it's one the pink that was in our Neon Nights, if you're familiar with that pink. It's like a pretty bright pink, but when you've got it with like a darker color, it just, it really... I think it just looks really gorgeous. So next I'm adding our pink tourmaline. And I need two of those. I came up with this project at a Tucson show. Sometimes there's a little bit of downtime and I was playing around with it. And I didn't think it would be as popular as it has been over the years. So it was fun to see it post back up on our blog today um, on our new website. Okay, so I've got two of each color in the from the Be My Valentine trio, the spinel, the pink tourmaline, and the pink rhodochrosite. And then I did a shorter one strand of white quartz, um, which you'll see is going to go up the middle. I've got my three by three millimeter crimp tube, which is going to be able to handle all of these wires because it's really big and a good big size. We've got our mighty crimping pliers which have a round hole in the front and then a tooth in the back. We're going to use that tooth to create like a little seam sort of in the crimp, a little divot. And then we're going to switch it onto its side into the rounder, that front hole and we're gonna fold it in. And I'll just go around it a few times with the rounder, making sure it's cinching down into all those wires inside this crimp and holding them nice and tight. <clears throat> so I've got all my wires crimped and then I can go ahead and trim off those extra pieces there. And now we've got to separate. So I want one of each color on each side. And let's see if I can get this darker one to come over here. You kind of want to separate them in a logical fashion so that the closest, closer they are, the better. And you don't want them sort of twisting here at the bottom. So just do your best doesn't have to be perfect. But you can see I kind of separated them in half. And then I believe how I did this was I strung my crimp tube onto my center wire here. And then I strung all three wires through the top to create one half of the heart. And then I strung all three wires from the opposite side, also through the center. And you could do like an, uh, a lopsided heart like this. You can do a perfectly shaped heart. And if somebody wants to post a link to the blog today, there are written instructions. I did it a little bit differently uh, in those written instructions than I did here today. Um, but it is, if you're better with a written instruction than a video instruction, or you want that in addition, those are available. So now I'm doing the same thing I did with that first earring. I'm just fidgeting to get it to the shape and the size that I want. Are you seeing the little heart come together? And Make sure it's just how you want it. And it doesn't have to be, these do not have to be lined up perfectly. In fact, when you've got multiple colors, it's kind of fun for it to be just a little messy. Um, I like it. So don't worry too much about perfecting it. You just really wanna make sure you get a good shape going. 
And then I'm gonna take those Mighty Crimpers and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before. I'm gonna compress that crimp to hold all those wires in place. And once I feel like that's nice and tight, I can start coming in here and trimming off these extra wires. So I can slide in here. Usually in a case like this, I'm gonna go through and do each wire individually because I wanna be really careful not to cut that center wire that's holding the whole part together. Hey, Sharon. Oh, thanks, Trish. Susie says, could you add beads? You could definitely add beads on the white wire or you can add beads along the outside too. I originally had grabbed these CZ beads that I used in the first project thinking maybe I would add some beads to this project, um, but that wouldn't have worked because the, the wire's too thick but you could definitely add some really fun beads to it. I did white in the center on this one. You'll see on the blog that I just continued one of these strands down the middle, but I thought the white would be nice just cause it would just disappear a little bit better. Um, but you definitely, yeah, you could add beads. And in fact, if you do, I would love to see it in the um, VIB group. So post a picture if you try it. So I'm gonna open up my ear wire just like before, and then you can just slide all three on. You can of course make this smaller. Like I said, you can do a lopsided heart with one side being bigger and one side being smaller, which would be kind of fun. Um, so this is with the Be My Valentine, you could also do it with Romance, which would be a really beautiful trio. Or if you're into purple, this would be a fun, um, the mystical color palette would be really fun with the hearts too. So that's it. That's how you make a Softflex heart. And um, quick, easy, nice and light. And I'd love to see how you make it your own. So go for it. So right now, if you go to our website, if you're making a purchase this week, this lasts until next Monday, I believe, you're gonna get a $5 credit with your $25 order, $10 with 50, 15 with 75, 20 with 100. Buy your Cupid's Kiss kit. They're probably gonna sell out within the next week. So if you wanna join us January 30th, now's the time to do it and you'll get your credit, which is basically like a discount off your kit. And then you can use the credit on the next kit um, when it comes out or whatever you wanna use that for. And yeah, that's it. I didn't put a video list together. I know, and maybe Kristen's here and she can verify. I think Kristen's coming back next Monday uh, with a live video. And James is starting to talk about doing conversations with Wire again. So he will either be back next Thursday or the week after that, but he is working on a project for that, which is exciting. And yeah, and I, of course, will be back next Wednesday with a Stretch Magic, I believe, Stretch Magic project. Um, so I will see you then. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope that you guys are getting in the Valentine spirit and uh, getting excited. Don't forget to post your pictures from Winter Wonderland in the VIB group. We have plenty of Winter Wonderland bead mixes, tassels, we have the new Winter Wonderland Trio still on the website. So there's tons to look at at www.softlexcompany.com. Thanks for tuning in, Karen. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Nice to see all of you here, and I hope you have a fantastic week. See you next week. Bye.